Welcome back. We have another hopefully exciting uh, smoking video today. Uh, we're going to be a little bit challenged because up here in uh, Vermont, as you can see, it is 12 degrees out. So the, uh, the pit's doing its best outside to get warmed up. Today we're going to go with a Wagyu beef chuck roast. This guy's a monster. It's from KC Cattle Company. Really good products. I'm trying to find a weight on here. I don't see it. And then we have, just because if you're firing the pit up, you might want to do more than one thing, uh, some Porter Road pork wings. These are kind of fun. They made the round on the YouTube channels a while back. As you can see, we got a little leak in our bag, no big deal. Um, and then in terms of what we're doing ingredient-wise and tool-wise, on the pork ribs, we have this uh, huge container of rib rub from Pitmasters Blends. Actually, check these guys out. They have a lot of products in this massive 21 ounce size. Pretty good stuff and you cannot beat the price. It was maybe like seven or eight bucks for all of that. And then on the chuck, uh, I came across these barbecue rub down products lately. Uh, good people sent a nice note along with the package. Um, they, they have kind of a base coat, which is a little bit more than your standard SPG. And then I'm gonna to top it with what they call the good old Texas style. Uh, let's see, ingredient-wise, um, yeah, that's literally SPG on the good old Texas style. So the rub has a little bit more, it has uh, onion, sugar, and then the infamous spices. Uh, so who knows exactly what's in it. And then we have our squirt bottle, uh, we have our heat gun, and today we're going to use the meter probe. We did not use the probe on the initial cook. It was just ribs, and you don't really need a probe for ribs. So that's what's going to be going on for the next, I don't know, probably eight or so hours here today. You know, the dog is whining, wants to go out, and uh, be back in a little while. We're now officially outside and underway. I'm going to keep this quick because, as you can see from the snow, oh, hey, look, wood pile in the back, right? As you can see from the snow, it's really cold outside, so I don't want to lose. It's been tough enough to get the heat up to temp, and I don't want to lose too much heat and of course now it's snowing because why not so i'm going to quickly put this down and close the lid and we're back we were at 250 before we opened the lid so you could see how quickly we lost heat um, i'm sure it will come back up in no time at all got a nice bed of coals a couple larger splits in there. Uh, it's nice and hot in there. A uh, new addition to the collection is a little wood splitter. Uh, put the wood in there and you got your awl here and just give it a little bonk and your big pieces of wood turn into nice appropriately sized splits. Got a couple of guys preheating here. Then we have some uh, leftover post oak wood chunks so we'll be using those in addition to our standard maple and beech. Um, but now we're just going to hope and pray that the temp comes back up. And we're probably going to have to be a little more diligent. Uh, maybe every half hour checking this thing compared to the normal 45 to an hour. Just given the ambient temps. Back at the two hour mark. I uh, just opened up the cover. And as you can see with the temperature being 27, the steam is going to get a little more visible. Or the smoke I should say. Uh, 130 degrees right now. The roast is looking good. These little piglings are actually tempting at about 190, so I'll probably I'll pull these off and just wrap them and deal with them later for service. Uh, the pit's been doing a pretty good job holding temperatures. Once I kind of figured out what I needed to do and when I needed to do it, uh, I've been nice and hot in there. It's been a really great draw all day long out of the old chimney stovepipe. But so far, yeah, things are progressing um, better, than, better than planned. It's it's got a little nicer out. We're up to 28 degrees, so it's a little more bearable than when we first started. Um, I suspect we probably have another hour or two for the roast to get up to the stall, which point we're going to wrap it. But right now, actually, I'm going to it looks a little dry on top. Give it a little spritz. A little apple cider vinegar, water, some uh, crushed red peppers. I can't really see them that great in there. 
There we go. That should help uh, keep it moist. All right. Check in later. Three and a half hours in, and the roast is right at 160 degrees. Somehow these on YouTube videos, they always get it to nail it exactly. This was just kind of random luck. That's kind of where I wanted it to be. Um, so now we are going to wrap it. So we have our butcher paper here, unwaxed butcher paper, the Wagyu beef towel. We'll give it a little bit of a, a bath and then we're going to set it back on the pit until, I don't know, pro tender, 200, 205, I'm guessing a couple more hours. Seven hours later, perhaps, we are done with the chuck roast. Uh, we're going to cut into it in a little bit. Uh, the pork the pork wings, pork wings, easy for me to say, were done after about two hours. I put them back on to reheat, and you can actually, look at that. Look at the juice on those suckers. Really good. But today, we are very excited to have guest host, twins extraordinaire. If your name is Lizzie, raise your hand. If your name is Henry, do not, do not. Your name is Henry, do not raise your hand. Lizzie and Henry, they are eating. They have their own little plates with some sliced up pork with some homemade pickles because that's how we do. Uh, let's show off some homemade hot sauces while we're here. Can I get a quick uh, review? Have you, have you eaten anything but the carrot yet, Lizzie? I have actually eaten some of the meat. You have eaten some of the meat. And yeah. what are your thoughts? I think it's yummy. It's <laughs> yummy? I'll take that. <laughs> Henry? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, very good. It's really good. What do you think your dad has to say about it? Ta-da! It is delicious. It is delicious. Oh my god. Um, does anyone want to say hi to your grandfather? Because he'll probably see this in a couple days. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to let the kids eat in peace. But before we go, they have something they want to tell you that to remind you to do. <laughs> like and subscribe in the next five seconds or else your smoker will be damaged. Oh, no. Hit that notification bell. We just cut into the chuck roast. Uh, excellent looking smoke ring. And you can see nice and juicy, nice and tender. And we're about to serve that up to um, our, what are we calling you guys? Our test, our test rodents? Muckbane twins. The muckbane twins, whatever that means. Um, we're going to serve them up some of this in a bit. And uh, hopefully we'll get their positive review afterwards. <laughs> We have consumed the chuck roast, and we're on to dessert, which is a extremely high class can of whipped cream. Um, any comments on the chuck roast, Elizabeth? I thought it was very delicious. Very delicious. Okay, I'll accept that. I would eat uh, it again. You would eat it again. Yep. Very juicy. Uh, the texture was nice. Mm. And it goes well with hot sauce. Speaking of which, you have now tried both of the homemade hot sauces that are coming out of this same production warehouse. Yep. What are your thoughts on the green one first? You can taste the lemon, uh, lime a lot. It's very like sweet and then it ends up in like hot. Uh, with the mango, you taste the mango and then it gives your mouth like a little bit of uh, like, like a fire and then it stops and Overall, I think it's a 9 out of 10. Is it true I saw you just eating it directly right under your finger? Yes, maybe. Yeah, maybe. All right. Um, any last, any closing comments, young kiddos? <laughs> Guest influencers. It go, this goes really well with pickled things. Very good. Oh, yeah, the pickles, the pickled carrots and the pickles were very delicious. Well, thank you. We will close on that.